What exactly is it that makes people rich? I'm not talking about children being born into rich families or winning the lottery or something. I'm talking about the people who work hard and put in the time consistently for years and years. What do those people do with their money today that will make them rich tomorrow? In this video, we're going to explore five different ways how some people accumulate massive amounts of wealth while others do not. If you're going to be rich someday, then be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're always updated when a new video comes out. You see, there's two things you can do that will almost guarantee your success in the future. Live below your means and invest. We'll talk about investing a little more later in the video. Living below your means is the starting point. If you can't do this right, you're going to have a hard time doing the rest. The school system teaches us to have an eight hour day job and spend everything we earn. You don't have to stop drinking Starbucks coffee every day or completely stop going to the movies, but you do need to start slowly scaling back on things that won't matter in the long term. The money you'd spend anyway on those activities now becomes money in your pocket. Now money in your pocket isn't entirely useful either if it's just sitting there. Put it to work. A couple of dollars here and there, saved and invested, will amount to a lot of money in the future. So take a look at your expenses and cut what's not important. You'll be surprised to discover just how much you've been spending on things that don't even matter. Notice it says, stay away from bad debt. That's because there's two types of debt, good debt and bad debt. I have a video entirely on this topic, if you're interested here. But to summarize, bad debt is anything that charges you a high amount of interest for little to no real value. Maxing out your credit cards to buy branded things when you're living paycheck to paycheck, bad debt. Borrowing a high interest loan to finance a large purchase just to show off to your friends and neighbors, bad debt. If you don't need it and you can't afford it, don't buy it. A good rule of thumb to go by is if you can't buy it twice without breaking the bank, you can't afford it. This tip goes hand in hand with the previous one perfectly. Successful people stay as far away as possible from bad debt, and it's not hard to see why. You probably heard this one before, but the greatest investment you can make is in yourself. It's not all just mumbo jumbo nonsense. People keep talking about it because it actually works. The rich read, but they don't necessarily read for entertainment purposes only. They read to learn and grow. According to entrepreneur.com, 85% of the rich read at least two or more self-improvement books a month. Well, Johnny over here with his Gucci belt and $600 sneakers can't figure out what he's doing wrong. Don't be like Johnny. Self-improvement isn't limited to just books either. You can take online courses on your profession. There's also webinars and direct coaching. The internet has made information so readily available that so many people take it for granted. I mean, YouTube alone is full of value if you look for it. If you're watching this video, then I want to give you a virtual high five for seeking knowledge. Remember what we kind of touched upon earlier about putting your money to work? Well, the rich put their money to work. Investing is one of the greatest vehicles you can use to grow your finances. While saving your money in a high yield savings account is an okay way to make some extra cash on the side, investing is a different beast entirely. Investing is what will do the heavy lifting when it comes to your net worth. Now you're probably thinking, okay HP, that's good and all, but what do I invest in? And that is a very good question, my friend. Matter of fact, that's the exact question I used to ask a couple of years ago. Always invest in what you know. Take the stock market, for example. Now it's easier than ever to buy stocks thanks to apps like Robinhood and M1 Finance. If you're going to invest in stocks, please, please, please do your research before putting your money into something you know little to nothing about. Investing in real estate is another option, but I'll be making an entire video on that topic in the future, so be sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. All in all, when you invest, you need to understand that there's always a risk factor. I only invest money I can go without. You should never invest more than what you can afford to lose. 
We all know a couple of people who radiate negativity and baseless criticism. Everything good that happens to them is their doing, and everything bad that happens to them is someone else's doing. They lack responsibility and are the first to judge when someone else tries to do something productive or meaningful. Mindset is the foundation where everything else is built upon. A positive mindset is not negotiable when it comes to achieving your goals and dreams in life. You need to be growth-minded and learn from each mistake and continue to move forward. You know what they say, if the plan doesn't work, change the plan, but never the goal. A growth mindset gives you the ability to tone your talents over time through experience and education. It teaches you that failure doesn't necessarily mean defeat, it's just another opportunity to learn. Compared to a fixed mindset, where people tend to believe that their talents and intelligence are fixed and what they have is what they'll always have. The path to success is never a straight line, and you will face setbacks and you will make mistakes. But that's okay. That's part of the journey. As long as you continue to push yourself and become a learning machine, it's not a matter of if, but a matter of when. Thanks so much for watching.